Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to explore XP Market. So first thing you have to do is accept Shaman. That's the wallet that I'm using. And it's also a really great wallet. So I recommend if you're using the XRP Ledger to use this wallet, I sign. This is all live. You can see how fast the XRP Ledger is. That's one. Of... All right. So in this case here, do you have the DEX? You can add different pairs that you want. For example, uh, FLR would be an interesting pair to have. So if I go up here, I can see the chart. I can see the chart and this has been the price. So this is important to observe because when you open an AMM position, you are opening a trading position. That means that you are willing to trade each in either direction, both assets. So if the, pri the price of flare were to drop, then I'm gonna have more flare and less XRP. Okay, then you can go to swap and it's same as, this is pretty uh, easy. Market order means that the price doesn't really matter, it's just gonna fulfill. So this is the least prefer uh, preferable way to, to make uh, orders. And then you can do a limit order where you set the price and then you say when one XPM is worth this amount of XRP, then you're going to sell or you're going to buy. And then you can also send um, to a different addresses. And then if you go to AMM, we are going to open a position here. So we're going to go to deposit. And I don't have much XRP, so I'm going to do 0.5 XRP. So in this position, I am accepting that I'm willing to trade my 0.5 XRP for 14 XPM. If the price of XPM goes up, then I'm gonna have less XPM and more XRP. And if the price of XRP goes up, then I'm gonna have more XPM and less XRP. That's because you would then need, one XRP would buy you more XPM. That's how you have to see it. So I'm gonna do confirm deposit. Okay, so now we're gonna open a position with XRP and XPM. I'm gonna choose three XRP are equal. So if you see the value, it's pretty much the same, 1.56 and 1.54. In this position, I am willing to trade my three XRP for XPM. And that goes both ways. If the price of XRP goes up, then that would mean that one XRP would buy more XPM. So I'm gonna have more XPM, but less XRP. And if the price of XPM goes up, then I'm gonna have less XPM and more XRP. This is a very important thing to understand because I only open pools when I'm happy to hold both assets. I would never open a position where I am risking an asset that I do want to hold for something that I do not want to hold because if somebody pulls the liquidity out, then you're going to be holding a huge bag of what you don't want to hold. So always make sure that you can, you're willing to trade both sides and that you're happy with that transaction. In this case, three XRP, I am willing to, 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 to trade it for XPM. So I'm gonna do confirm transaction. It's asking me to sign on my wallet. Awesome. So now if I go to withdraw, this is the amount that I have, and then I can just confirm withdraw and that's it. All right, guys, thank you.